Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on guys? Today we are looking at the brand new 87 overall campus hero Marcus Mariota. If you didn't watch last video, I did say we are bringing back the emoji of the day and the shout out of the day. The shout out of the day today goes to my man Jordan Ford for commenting the emoji on last video. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications. And as always, thank you for watching today's video. So here is the campus hero Marcus Mariota. And this card looks straight up nasty. This card's gonna play a lot like the Jalen Hurts LTD does with that 86 speed, 90 throw power, 85 short, 84 mid, 85 deep with my strat card, 87 throw on the run with a good throw under pressure at six foot four, 222 pounds. If we head down here, 80 carrying with a 90 juke, as well as having an 81 break tackle. So, hey man, at the quarterback position right now, it's hard to find better than this. Gen three release, so the same release as Jalen Hurts with better speed good accuracy stats and for abilities i will say that jalen hurts does have better ability buckets because in this third slot you can only put the pre-baked ability thankfully you can take it off which is definitely a w but i don't run any qb design runs so i'm not even going to try this but if you do run qb design runs mariota should be a monster improved blocking on qb design run sounds pretty insane but today we're rocking with long range dead eye here are the second slot abilities no quick draw no roaming dead eye, nothing too crazy like that. And here's the first slot, obviously, like the second win, the homer, the persistent ability, stuff like that. Team cams, he does get Raiders, Titans, and of course Falcons and front arts. Here we are, the gold, the normal card art, and the you know the collectible one. So yeah, let's hop into the gameplay today and let's see what the canvas hero Marcus Mariota can do. All right, here we go, game number one, and we're playing the college overtime house rules. College OT is always the best house rules. It, it simply is. So we're going to play it today. We are starting off on defense, which is no big deal. But dude, uh, yeah, the college OT house rules is always just so much fun. So we're going to test out Mariota in this mode today. No real long fields to play with, but we should be able to run a little bit. You know, have some fun with Marcus and he wants that little crosser. We bumped it and it still got naked. My click on was also very bad right there. But hey, the one reason why I hate this uh, Kansas City Chiefs 3-3 nickel blitz is just because you can't get like a post open because there's always a cover one over the top. I mean, when it's not, you can do that with it, but there's Mariota throwing a laser. But most people, when they run it, they run one high safety and you have to rely on your corner route. So it's just a super busted blitz because if you shade outside, corner routes get boxed fairly consistently. Even zigs get boxed fairly consistently. So you have to... I don't even know. That's why I just turns in the check down simulator because you can't really do anything else against it. You really can. If you're facing a complete God squad and you maybe don't have all the best wideouts in the game, there's no route abilities yet. You're not, there's no real consistent route that'll get open against man coverage. But you can definitely do here. I think I'm going to motion block CD and do Mariota. Dude, I, I, dude I'm going to be using Mariota. I'm going to be using him until I get Tebow. Unfortunately, I do get. A, I mean, I am gonna have to use Tebow. I don't want to. I have to step up into step up into that. It was cover three there. Wasn't expecting a cover three look at all. Just wasn't expecting cover three. He's got him really far back. He's got him. He's got the zone drop set real far back. Okay, well, that was actually cover four anyway. But still, I mean, this. I mean, that's that which should have still got open. Take our check down. We gotta get some little extra yardage. Okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for this. Oh, here we go. We're going to try a little zig corner route look here. Um, put him on the streak. If he does blitz, we could be in some trouble, but I don't think he is going to. He's open over the middle, and this really does make no sense to me. Like, just take your three. My, it's, it's literally a C route, isn't it? Oh, mine. Why did he not take his three? Do I, am I confused on how these, these house rules work, or, or is he? Because I don't really know. I don't really know. Is he confused, or... Am I confused? I thought he, I thought he could just take his three and he wins. That's what I thought. Hold up. Did the comp rewards come through? I think they did. I got my competitive rewards just now while I'm recording this. And also, I did get Tim Tebow. Gameplay will most likely be dropping tomorrow on the channel. But we do have Tim Tebow in our hands and we did get our first helmet sticker. But yeah, the comp rewards came through. Okay. All right, here we go. Game number two. We are starting off here on offense. We're going to come out here and... 
I don't know, I kind of got to figure out what people are doing in this mode. I'm sure they're just running their normal defenses, but I'm sure there's some kind of... So, so there's some kind of strategy, I feel like, that I will eventually figure out. I'll be playing a lot of these house rules, so if you want to come through, you know, you guys know, live on Twitch almost every single day, and tonight will be no different. We're definitely, definitely going to be, like, you know, pumping out these house rules, trying to get that Tim Tebow, trying to get our free 87, and the checkdown's open. I actually... He's rushing two of the spy. He sent the spy now, and he, the spy ran around all my offensive linemen. Let's pick him up. He's probably going to only send two again. We actually got him open. And that's wide open. Dude, that post route. Dude, post routes on the inside. Like, post routes from the inside receiver, I think. Or the... Yeah, post routes from the inside receiver in... um Or outside receiver. Yeah, post routes from the outside receiver in any type formation are just straight nasty with how it man aligns. And most people shade outside. So, if they don't have a cover one, post routes just eat in this game. They, they simply eat. Okay, no shade whatsoever. I'm surprised. Oh, he threw the ball right at me. I'm surprised that ball did not go to Kyle Pitts. I'm honestly very surprised that ball was not thrown directly at Kyle Pitts on that streak. That is definitely like a Madden 23 player read. Just seeing the streak going on one and just throwing it. I mean, it probably would have been a completion too. That's the crazy part. Outside, and that's our ball all day. Steve Atwater just going straight crazy. He should quit on this. That's like, that's like crib it. I'm, I'm actually going to crib it. Why not? Oh, because oh, he clicked off. That's how. Oh, damn. Good, good, good for him. I run this thing stock. Look, looks like cover two over the top. Let's go, let's go, Marcus. First run of the day and don't fumble. Okay. I mean, he's got like good carrying. Like, if you run on conservative, I know that quarterbacks just still fumble, but like normally, but still 80 carrying on conservative, you might be able to take some hits. Like you, I'm not going to say he's just going to be like a prime Cam Newton, but he, you should be able to take a couple hits to the chest. Like if you can't, it's kind of disappointing. And looking mesh spot, yo, mesh spot also kind of a nasty play in this formation that I'm just realizing now that I have. This, this is just a straight up nasty play. Just straight up nasty. Cause oh, I didn't even see I didn't even see him underneath that route to be honest. But yo, Keyshawn Johnson's been eating, but yeah, that's another nasty route because you have another one of those posts. Okay, we're into game number four, and for this game, I put on fast break, and we're gonna run QB draw in five wide. That is the plan. We're gonna come out, we're gonna run QB draw, and just see what it can do. I don't know. The fast break with the improved blocking definitely sounds interesting. And if you can run it consistently in a in a spread formation with QB draw, like that's pretty good. I don't have any read options in this playbook. I don't. But if you got read options, I would imagine. Like I would really, I would definitely imagine that uh, that fast break is pretty good this year. I, I think it is. I, I don't know if it was. Did, did they change it last year or was it always like this? Was it always improved blocking? Because I thought it was improved ball carrier like movement or whatever. Because I used to run it in Madden 20, or like enhanced control, whatever they called it. Because in Madden 20, I used to run fast break on Lamar. And then I just and then I just kind of stopped running all like the ball carrier movement stuff because on next gen it made no difference, like human joystick or or um, you know, grab and go, stuff like that. It just doesn't make sense to run. What does he want here? Goes outside and that's just wide open. Come here. Oh wow, good journal. A journal in Madden 23. Crazy. I, I respect this game though. This could definitely be a QB sneak, and we actually got a good animation, but he does punch it in. We got everything set up the way we wanted to. Probably some some kind of curl. Oh, that got wide open. Okay, get, get loose. Look at the runoffs. Oh my, oh my, Marcus. Yo, okay, okay. I don't. Yo, if you run, hold up, hold up. If you run fast break. With runoffs. I don't even have runoffs on any of those guys. If you run fast break with runoffs and you hit the hole, if you get into that second level, it's low key a TD every single time. Like, Marcus has good enough speed where that could be a touchdown literally every single time. That is actually ridiculous. And I want to try this. I don't know if this play's going to work. I'm going to call timeout, but we're going to try this. I don't know. We're going to give this one a try. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this going. Agam. Oh, we got the animation. He didn't come down with it. GG's. Hey, yo, but that. Yo, that fast break with that runoff looks, looks actually crazy. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Marcus Mariota gameplay. And I think without question, Mariota is one of the best QB options in the game right now. Whether you want to get him for free, whether you get him out of a reroll, whether you buy him off the auction house. Gen 3, good speed, good accuracy stats. This card's going to be a beast. And I'm going to be playing a little bit more with that fast break, man. Because, hey, one for one. And hey, you can't beat that. And those runoffs were nasty. I'm going to be messing around with that for sure. But hey, Marcus Mariota, I cannot recommend this card anymore. Card's a beast. Card's a monster. And the shout out, I mean, the, the emoji of the day. Sorry, the emoji of the day for the shout out of the day. Let's go with a duck. Comment a duck for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. 
And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.